So here is the income I made from the stock market for the month of May. Now the income I make from the stock market comes from two sources, dividends and option premiums that I sell. So if you saw my April video, dividends plus option premiums collected was about $7,000 Canadian. For the month of May, my total dividends plus option premiums collected is about 2,500 Canadian and I'm gonna break it down. So just first of all, why is it much less? So the main reason is when I write covered calls, when I sell call options against my stocks that I buy, the first month when I buy the stock, I sell a call option at, that is at the money. So a strike price that's exactly at the market price. So the premiums are higher. But sadly in May, most of these stocks dropped hard. So when the first option expired and came the time for me to sell another call option on the same stock that I own, because the stock dropped a lot, the only strike price that I can choose is my initial cost. So since that strike price is going to be far from the current market price, the premiums collected will be much lower. Now I could take the risk and pick a strike price that's clo closer to the new market price, but then I risk losing my shares at that strike price. So because there's always a risk that my shares get sold at the strike price that I sell the call option at. If I buy a stock and it goes down drastically, then for sure the next month, the call option that I will collect at the same strike price will be much lower. So that's what happened in May because everything dropped. The call premiums collected were much lower, but also I've had, I made some bad trades or some unlucky trades with um, some credit spreads. And I'm going to, I'm going to break break down my trades so you'll see what i mean and if you don't know what a credit spread is you could search on youtube credit spread from sky view trading or option alpha or even tasty trade they explain it very well i've got some videos as well but these channels explain it very well and i've got many videos on covered calls if you want to know exactly how they work all right so to begin let's start with dividends so i collected 11 dollars from american airlines I collected $83 from Activision in dividends, Activision Blizzard, collected $46 from Bristol Myers, collected $17 from Financial 15 Split Corp, and collected $16 from Dividend 15 Split Corp. Now, I don't buy these stocks for dividends except for FTN and DFN. The others, American Airlines, Activision, and Bristol Myers, I don't buy them for dividends. They just happen to be part of my covered call trades, and I just happen to buy them before x dividend date so i get to receive the dividends okay now so in terms of options premiums collected so for the month of may activision blizzard i collected 280 dollars canadian amd i collected 214 dollars american airlines collected 436 dollars afria which is a pot which is a pot related stock collected 13 dollars so this is one of the stocks that dropped hard so that's why this month i was only able to collect 13 dollars so it's, it's like a dividend but better than nothing i had an apple credit spread where i lost 492 dollars uh, aurora cannabis i collected 42 dollars bombardier i collected 98 dollars box i collected 365 dollars Chesapeake Energy, I collected $26. So this is another one that because it dropped so hard, the stock went from $3 to $2. And the strike price that I had to choose was $3 while well, the stock is trading at $2. So for sure the premiums were going to be low, but I still managed to get $26 out of it while the previous months I was getting over $240 out of it. So that's a big difference, but still better than nothing. I had a Disney credit spread where I lost $487. Intel covered call trade, I made $193. JD.com, a covered call trade, made $392. Kraft Heinz, $44. L Brands, $51. Macy's, a week, $8. So this is pretty bad. Usually, with Macy's, I make $90 a month, but because the stock went from $25 to $21, I was only able to collect $8. Mattel, $170. Micron, $516. Neo, $106. Six Flags, $45. I have an, credit, an Iron Condor trade on SPX, on the SPX index, collected $114. Square, 
$58. So this is another one that dropped hard. First month I collected about $500 on Square. This month, $58. So 10 times less. That's because the stock went from 75 to 65. Tesla, which was an iron condor trade, lost $500 on that. So when I initially placed the iron condor trade, the stock was trading at $255. And I gave myself a range between 200 and 305. Now in the last two weeks the stock just dropped really hard and ended up at 190 at expiry date so because it was outside of my range of 200 to 305 then i ended up losing money on the trade united states steel covered call trade made 26 dollars this one is another one that dropped very hard it was trading at around 20 dollars now it's around 12 dollars usually i'll make over 100 dollars on this one this month only 26 dollars weight watchers collected 31 dollars so this is a stock i bought at 30 and right now it's trading at 17 dollars but i sell a call option at a strike price that's lower than 30. Right now I'm selling it at 25 because I'm assuming that the stock will not go past 25 come expiry date, which is in 30 days. I mean, if the stock is trading at 17, odds are on my side that it's not going to be trading above 25 come expiry date. It's going to creep up slowly, but not. it's not going to jump over 25 in, in 30 days. So that's why I was able to pick a strike price lower than the price I bought it at. And this way collecting $31. Western Digital collected $322. And finally, Yeti collecting $32. So this one is another one that dropped hard. Last month, I believe I was able to collect $300. So in this month, $32 because the stock went from 34 to, to 25 about. So yeah, so with dividends, it gives me a total of about 2500 canadian this month which is much less than the previous month but at least it's explainable it's because everything dropped the general market just dropped in may and i couldn't pick a strike price that's closer to the market price i needed to stay close to my cost because i think 30 days is enough for everything to to come back up and of course i don't want to lose my shares at a price lower than what i paid for them so yeah my strategy on the stock market right now is selling call options and credit spreads now, I made a few mistakes with credit spreads this month by, well, it's not really a mistake because, I mean, I was, I picked some ranges really outside. I mean, when, when Tesla was trading at 255, I gave myself a very wide range between 200 and 305, which is conservative, but surprisingly, the stock decided to, to break the 200s and even go to 190. So because of this unexpected circumstance, I ended up losing a lot on that trade, but in normal conditions, it would have been a profitable trade. Same thing on Apple. But I guess if there was something I could have done to avoid this is I could have closed the trade earlier. I mean, with the Tesla Iron Condor, I sold it for $85 and I had a chance to close the trade for $40, but I didn't. Instead, I ended up closing the trade for $500 because I said to myself, ah, $40 is not that much in profit, 85 minus 40. I'll wait till expiration so I can collect the maximum profit of $85. And instead, the stock just decides to break my, the stock decides to go outside my range and I ended up, I ended up losing way more. So I guess you could blame it on, on greed, not being disciplined, not closing the trade when I had the chance. So I'm hoping for a better month in June, but for that to happen, I mean, the general market just has to go back up because as I'm making this video, everything is still down. I mean, and if most of my options expire June 21st and if prices remain as they are right now, I'm going to have some pretty low premiums again for the month of June. I was even placed on margin calls several times, like three times in one week, because I've been using a lot of my buying power. So when everything dropped, it put me in a negative position, borrowing more than my equity. So I had to fund the account quickly or else Quest Trade can start liquidating my positions to pay themselves. So that was a, I was in a pretty bad position because of this general market correction but i guess if there's a lesson to be learned here is don't be greedy close my close winning trades earlier and not to use my full buying power always leave some available buying power in case the market drops so that was my income for the month of may from my stock market activity so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below like always if you're going to open an account with quest trade to trade on the stock market use my referral code in the description below the video to get up to 250 dollars back and check out the rest of the referral links below thanks for watching